Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dang. As you can tell by my voice that I'm still currently sick and there's an ice cream truck down there. Oh my god! Anyway, so I need to make this video, especially for those of you guys who are brand new to succulents and it's springtime and you want to bring them outside. So you need to know what to expect when you bring them outside because when you don't, you're going to cry because there are succulents die and then I don't know what to do. Send me a man. But let's get started. See, I told you, ice cream truck is down there and it's baiting me. It's baiting me to go down there because I love ice cream and it's gonna make me fat. But anyways, let's get back to our succulents. As you can see, I have my succulents here outside already. We'll do another garden tour, don't worry. It is pretty much outside for the whole entire day. It gets pretty much almost the full sunlight, well, partial, partial morning and then full afternoon sunlight. So there are four things you need to expect uh, when you bring them outside. Number one is the sun, two is watering, three is temperature, and lastly is the wind. Um, so let's talk about the sun because that motorcycle is really loud, girl. Mm. Uh, the sun is a very, very powerful source of light and heat versus our artificial light. It is extremely powerful and strong. So, you know. Usually when you have it out in sunlight, you don't need it for the whole entire day unless you want its beautiful colors and stressing them out and all that blah 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 Versus our artificial light where we only need about well We need much more like about 10 12 hours for it to get into the same shape as it as if it were out in the Sun, right? so um, Also when you put out in the Sun because it's very powerful what you're gonna get is something called sunburns a lot of the succulents some of the succulents are not capable of withstanding the full might of the sun especially during noon time right now where it's the most strongest noon time means like around 12 to 3 o'clock that's when it's the most strongest piercing sunlight to your succulents and some of them are not capable of withstanding that as you can tell right here by this um, Miss Richards right here my sun, rainbow sunset you know those are not capable of doing it. I'll show you other examples right here. This is my Echeverry Rainbow. Crispy Echeverry Rainbow now. Uh, moonstone. I mean, boiled Moonstone. And then this uh, lipstick, whatever it's called. See? It's, it's, it's pretty much crispy. Chris, 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 crispy. Um, you know, this is not caused by like chemical residue or watering it or, um, or you know, pests, pests or anything. This is just the pure sun, period. Nothing added on top of that. Just pure sun. And it's crispy. You see? So that means these, these ones are, have not adapted to the sun yet. Which means that they need to be in the shady area getting partial sunlight until they adapt it to you know the, the might of the sun because I've had a uh, Echeverry rainbow out right here or actually right here last year and it was doing fine so these ones just need to be adapted um, so when you see that put them into the shade because they need to adapt to the sunlight before you bring them out into the full sun once they are finished adapting you can bring the full sun and test to see whether or not it can withstand the full might of the sun. If it can, great. If it can't, then you need to put it back into the more shadier area. It gets, you know, partial sunlight, right? That's something that you really, really need to keep an eye out on. If you don't, it's just gonna burn your plants and your plants are just gonna die. And then you're gonna cry and be like, bang, my plants are dying because of the sun. What do I do? Really, just put them into the shade. Uh, next is watering. Watering and sunlight goes hand in hand. So when you're watering your plants, don't water it right now where the sun is at its highest. The problem is that when you water it, especially when you water on the leaves, right? The water particles acts as a magnifying glass, which means that it amplifies the sunlight, which will burn your leaves even more. Think of it like a magnifying glass on an ant like crispy you know crispy crispy leaves yet again so never 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 water your succulents during the afternoon right now where the sun is at its peak highest peak because you're just going to destroy all your plants but if you do if you if, if, if you water do not water period because what happens also is that when it's too hot it cooks your roots the roots of your succulents and that's no bueno como estas right no bueno 
Um, so that's why you never water it during the afternoon right now. The best time to water it is right in the morning, 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, or in the evening, like 7, 8 p.m. in the evening. That's when you water. So that way, there's no light or heat to destroy the roots or the leaves. Now, when you water it, also take into, the, uh, take into consideration the temperature at nighttime, if you are watering it during the evening. So, temperature right now in Toronto, Canada, you know, springtime you get the high of like 25 degrees and then the low of down to like 5 degrees Celsius at nighttime, which is not that great. Uh, because 5 degrees Celsius at nighttime is like more freezing point. So um, we don't want that. So really take into consideration like what temperature it is at nighttime. If it gets down to 5 degrees, don't water at night, water during in the morning. Um, if it gets down to 5 degrees Celsius at night, also bring your succulents inside. Because if it feels cold and chilly to you, it's cold and chilly to your succulents. And what happens when it gets to the colder temperature where it's too cold, the water particles inside the leaves are going to freeze up and that's going to destroy your succulents. Okay, so keep an eye out on the temperature. Right now, it is going to be low as 10 degrees Celsius at nighttime, which means it's fine for my plants to be outside. Right, Kitty? Huh? You're always in my video, aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you? Give me a hug. Just give me a hug. Good boy. All right. So that's temperature-wise. Also, those of you who live in a much more hotter region like Singapore, Indonesia, India, or like Austin, Texas, or um, Albuquerque. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know where. I don't know the states, but. The more and more into the equator, it can, it can actually burn your succulents when it's too hot of a temperature as well. Not just in coation of the sun, um, but also temperature. When it gets too hot, it will burn your succulents, period. Even if you put them in the shades. I have, I think it's Jasmine. Jasmine, one of my viewers, she lives in one of those really hot cities, Austin. Austin, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I think Austin and it gets super hot down there where she can't even leave them outside because there's so much heat that just burns the succulents itself and it's not even from like the, the sun. So you also have to take that into consideration where you live as well, right? For me in Canada, it gets hot as like 30 degrees Celsius and that's it. 30, 35 degrees Celsius and it's great for the succulents to be outside. Lastly is the wind. So I live in an apartment where I'm on a balcony Luckily, we have rails, right? Luckily, we have rails. And sometimes we get uh, tornado wind. as Yeah, tornado wind, and that's not really good. So once there's tornado wind, um, a lot of... Ooh, there's a cute guy walking by. Yes, he's right there. Ah, there, there he is. Nice. Um, but um, tornado winds, and that's really, really strong winds. Luckily, these are okay. They won't blow over because they're heavy. I mean, I think some of these will blow over this way, so... Um, you have to take into consider of the wind, especially when you have hangers, right? These ones, hangers, girl, hangers, hangers. Um, these are actually okay. Some of the hanger strings right here are actually very weak, and I have to replace them because this broke last night. Literally, just broke. So, my bronze yeah, just broke. Um, so you have to consider the wind as well. If you get tornado type of wind, you know, bring them inside or put them on the floor. Put them on the floor. Oh, put them on the floor so that way it doesn't blow over. Especially like your um, propagation trays like this. We put like um, um, pebbles or whatever, whatever, gravel on top of the leaf so it doesn't blow away. Uh, oh, lastly is the rain. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Rain, rain as well. Rain, 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 rain is water. Um, so a lot of these are in gritty mix and super gritty mix, so I don't have to worry about them, um, you know, retaining water at all. It just pretty much flushes out. Um, I don't have to worry about that, but if you have it into potting mix, potting mix soil, or regular soil, or, not, or even cactus soil, you may have to uh, double check on that, because I'm going to show you right here. This is what my mom did. I, I, that woman loves to do things, right? But she does sometimes things incorrectly. So this, you can tell, hold on, let me put them over here. So this, as you can tell right here, is in a glass... Um, whatever but you can see the bottom it's still there's still a ton of water in the bottom because there's no 
drainage hole. And this is just purely from the rain. Purely from the rain. Uh, if you have a container or a pot, whatever it is, uh, that has no drainage hole, you have to double check them, especially when they're outside and they're in the rain. Uh, this is gonna create root rot right away. And what we need to do is we need to just, you know, remove all this and let this dry, let the, let the roots dry before we repot it again. So this, you have to check up on pots if it's, if it's like this in potting mix and if there's no drainage hole and there's rain, right? Rain will destroy, I mean, this, this is gonna get destroyed. This is literally gonna get destroyed if I don't work on it. And I think that's it. That's it for what you need to expect when you bring it outside. Um, other than that, enjoy, enjoy your seconds being outside and enjoy because sometimes I come, come here, I put a chair here and I just like stare at all these, stare at all these all day long. Pretty much, pretty much. Yeah, and hopefully you guys are having a great time with all your succulents. I know I am. So much beauty, so much beauty right here. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I post a lot of stories on Instagram. I mean, a lot of stories, a lot of tips on Instagram, a lot of like my cat. Right, kitty? Right, right, kitty? Right, right, right. I love you, kitty. Give me a hug. Okay, so give me a hug. No, not today? Okay, buddy. Um, and also my Facebook. And I'll see you guys later. Love ya. Bye. I'm dying.